I did not edit yesterday's vlog, so I have no idea when this, that's going to go up, so I'm essentially editing two vlogs. I might just combine them. So today is an interesting day because I'm going to be going to the ICU. So for our new grad program, it's like brand new, and basically what it is, is we have one day in ICU and one day in cath lab, I believe. I think that's what it is. And it's just for us to be able to get to know what happens to our patients when they get there. And kind of same goes for if I were to do ICU. ICU also has a day in um, ER, because I saw a bunch of them. Also, I'm using this mason jar because um, somebody stole my Starbucks kind of favorite cup. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm going to go into ICU today. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be different than before. Um, yeah, I... Uh, for those of you who don't know, I used to precept in the ICU, but on nights. So that's why I was like, mm, it's probably way different. It's probably not the same as um, it is on nights. So we'll see how it goes today. But I'll update you whenever that goes. Also, I don't know why I did this to myself. I'm so dumb. I'm working like six days in a row, like starting yesterday. So this is my second day of working. Then I work again tomorrow for my other job. And then I come back for a three shift, um, three shift like rotation essentially. So, if I don't post for the next like couple days, that's probably why. Um, so I may just end up, I may just end up splitting this vlog and posting it later. off so it's gonna be like this long break that I have and working on my second job isn't very like labor intensive it's just such a far drive which makes it like 10 times harder to like you know get there and like Alex was talking to me the study that if you drive um, like more than an hour for your job you're less likely to feel um, satisfied with your job than people who live um, an hour or down the street from their job. So, I don't know how true that is, but that's that. Okay. <clears throat> There's something in my glasses, I can see it. Somebody broke my other clear glasses and I'm actually really upset about it. I have no idea what happened. I like set it on my my bathroom table and then I picked it up 
I like alternate between this one and then that one. The reason why I have this one is because I'm so like dumb. But like this is for at home and that those are for my work because I don't like having to clean them every single time. So I just throw them into my like little bin. Okay, not a bit. I just put them in the bathroom and I just keep them there until my next shift because I don't like cleaning them. I don't know. I'm so lazy. But that's how that was supposed to go. But now I don't have those glasses because one of the, the um, what are these called? The rim thing is gone. So I'm like kind of upset about it. <sighs> but yeah, so... Today I'm in the ICU. I don't know why I parked here. I'm so dumb. But I'm just gonna clock in here like normal and then walk over. We are, oh, we do have badge access, thankfully. So, like, some departments we don't have badge access to. For example, like, if I needed to go to the NICU to drop off a baby, I have to, like, call somebody. I think it's because, like, what is it? Like, the kidnapping? I'm gonna call Alex in the last, like, five minutes I have. And I'll see you guys after my shift. Hopefully, I like to think that because I'm in the ICU, I'll have more time to sit, but I probably won't. So, I'll let you know after. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Yay, McDonald's. There's me and Ray. What's up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day. 20. I'm picking up some food at my McDonald's right now. I'm not gonna turn around the camera, but I'll use my other camera to vlog it. Yay, McDonald's. There's me. Anyway. Okay. So, basically, I'm gonna pick up some food at McDonald's. My shift is at 9. It's about 8.30 right now. It is in LA, so I need to take into account how long it'll take me to get there. It's like 14 minutes, 15 minutes, okay. Head southwest on Santa Monica Boulevard toward okay, so I have about like 15 minutes to get food. Um, but yeah, so yesterday I was in the ICU. I never really talked about it because I like went out. Insert my clip of us going out here. Um, also follow me on social media because when I don't um, vlog, I usually post it on social media. Um, but I was just, I couldn't find my camera and I was too tired to vlog. Um, but, it was weird to go back and precept in the ICU because the ICU was where I don't know if anyone like kept up with me back then when I was in nursing school and I precepted there and I had initially thought I had wanted to do ICU um, but I think a lot of it was contributed to the fact that my mom really wanted me to do ICU because she herself was in the ICU when she was working on the floor um, so I thought that I wanted to do ICU I thought that I'd like it because you learn so much there. It's insane how much like brain power they use or like they, their job is very mental. And I see how it could be very like mentally taxing as well because um, a lot of their like severe patients like pass there and a lot of them do die there. And that's just like what the ICU is. Um, oh my God, I almost fell back. Anyway. Yeah, so that was that. Um, I went there and uh, it was weird to only have two patients for 12 hours. And that's everyone's normal, but that's not my normal anymore just because in the ER we have like such a fast turnover rate. If I have someone for more than like, if I have someone for more than like two hours, I'm like feeling social anxiety because like, it's so weird to like have someone like a patient for two more than two hours because most of the time they either find a bed or um, or they'll uh, they either find a bed or they'll get go, get to go home. A lot of our patients, um, a lot of them are okay. Like they'll get discharged home with some antibiotics. They'll get discharged home. Um, with some pain meds and that they'll be on their way but for the ICU a lot of them well a lot of them end up going to hospice or they like sadly enough they like pass there but the patients that I had gotten is actually pretty exciting okay hold on this is okay. oh god this fucking line oh my god I don't know if I'm gonna 
and make it. Please God, let this not take more than 15 minutes. Anyway, um, I thought that this would be a good idea, but I should have just went when I was at home because this is not, LA's way busier than OC. Um, anyway, uh, I just want my McDonald's. I should have been able to eat it on the way and here I am again. It's probably because everyone's rushing, like trying to eat before they go to work. I really want to get orange juice, but their orange juice is so expensive here. Let's just do it. I need some like vitamins. Oh, what is that? There. But yeah. Um. So yeah, that was my day in the ICU. My patients were pretty stable, but it was the first time I ever saw someone extubated. Weirdly enough. Like, I've never seen someone extubated, and you think that by now, especially for precepting there for like 10 weeks, that you'd think I would have seen someone extubated. But I actually didn't until then. I feel like it's because my nurse before was pretty seasoned, so in turn, she was very, um, <clears throat> I would always give her like pretty, like, critical patients. Um, but it was like a good day for my nurse the other day because we were able to, like, um, so kind of your goal in the ICU is to wean people off of um, a lot of like, for example, pressor medications like Levofed um, to hold up their blood pressure that, and then obviously you want to get them off the tube or off the ventilator. Here's the shift, our patient had a tube. I'm only going to focus on one patient because I really only focus on one patient, even though, yeah. Anyway, so we had two patients and, wow, everyone drives a BMW here. Yeah, so anyway. Uh, I keep getting so sidetracked, it's because I'm like worried about my time. But what happened was we ended up having two mics of Levofed. And by the end of the shift, like he was extubated and he was off his Levofed. And like the only thing he had running was his Lasix, which we don't know. Oh, like Lasix is usually for like CHF. Wow, that's my goal. I want to be like that. I just saw this right now. The figs. I want to be on a freaking billboard, damn. It's pretty cool, like, to see people get weaned off stuff, so. How someone gets extubated is they essentially get, um, put on CPAP trials, and usually they put them for about two hours on CPAP and see how that they, how they tolerate, and, like, if they're able to breathe on their own. And if they're able to tolerate it, they'll draw blood gas on them, and then, the blood gas is good, then essentially they're gonna be off their tube. And some people do it fast, and some people like wanna wait the two hours. Like, we did it really fast. And then, um, yeah, they also did like a bronchoscopy. This is so funny. I don't, I love this ad. Okay, anyway. One number seven, juice for the drink. Yes. And Burrito's gonna have to ask you to pull forward to the front of the room.